on some random review. All right, so what I did was, um, I just thought about a couple of problems that we might need some extra practice with. I, I mean, I don't know because you didn't say this, but this one is worth a lot because it has a lot of questions associated with it, so we'll try it first. And then we'll do a couple domain questions. And then whatever you want to work on is what we can work on. In fact, this will get us a jump start. So here's one of these big rational functions. You have to find all the asymptotes, intercepts, and holes. Okay, so what do we do? How do we start? We're going to start by factoring everything. So it looks like on the top I can take out a 2. Uh, so what's that going to leave? Factor this carefully and correctly. I pull my two out. I have to keep the two. How does that factor? Minus three plus two. Yep, I heard somebody say that. Good. Again, if I'm not sure, if I'm not a good factorer, I am going to foil it back together and make sure that it is correct. Okay? Now, what about the denominator? What does that mean? That means we're going to have a whole. There we go. So I should have. Now, I can also, when I'm canceling out the x plus 2, in this particular problem, I can also cancel a 2, right? Now, is that going to produce a whole? No, because it's not an x. you got to have an x. To be a whole or an asymptote or something, you got to have an x. I don't have it, but I can just reduce it. So that will end up being x minus 3 over 2x in reduced form. Now, if you don't cancel out the 2 and the 4, it isn't going to matter. The answers are going to be the same. Okay, so where's that hole going to be? Well, it's going to be at the x value that I canceled out. So what x did I cancel out? Negative 2. So then I'll find my y by plugging negative 2 into this. So that would be negative 5 over negative 4, or 5 fourths. If you don't reduce like I did, if you don't cancel out the 2 and the 4, you're going to get negative 10 over negative 8, which is still going to be 5 fourths. So I don't want you confused by this, because that doesn't really matter to any of this. Do I have any, um, do I have a horizontal asymptote? Yes. Where is it? Y equals one half. Why does Y equal one half? Well, you can either box in right here, right, right from the beginning, or you can box in right here. So my horizontal asymptote is one half. Do I have a vertical asymptote? Yep. What can x not be? Zero. So your vertical asymptote is at zero. All right, now what about the intercepts? Well, remember, the intercepts are where we cross the axis. So the y-intercept has an x at zero. Wait a second. Can I have an x at zero? No. So what does that mean about y-intercept? There isn't one. Keep in mind, kids, when you tell me there's a vertical asymptote there, that means I can't touch it. So it's not going to cross the y-axis. It's not going to have one. But now the x-intercept will have a y that's zero. So remember, this equation is y equals, I lost the y along the way, but it's y equals x minus 3 over 2x. So what's x going to be? To make this 0, x would have to be what? 3. Multiply 2x over here, it disappears. x equals 3. OK? Any 
question about that. All right, find the domain. All right, we've done these for forever. What do we What do we need to think about when we're finding domains? Jacob, you gotta think about radicals and denominators because whatever is under the radical, in this case, six plus five x, it has to be bigger than or equal to zero. So I'll just solve that, and x ends up being bigger than or equal to negative six fifths. Right? That's the first part of the answer. I know that's not an interval, I'll write an interval in a minute, but I gotta deal with this. What does this say? X can't be two, because what happens if you put two in there? You get a zero, you're not allowed to have that. Your denominator cannot be zero, so X cannot be two. So now my domain, I have to write that as an interval, it's everything bigger than or equal to negative six fifths, except two. So I like to put that on the number line. You certainly don't have to. It looks like this, right? So I'm going to have a bracket. I'm going to have a bracket at negative six fifths. And I'm going to go to two. And then I'm going to go from 2 to infinity. Does that make sense to you in terms of domain? All right, let's look at this one. What's the domain of this one? All real numbers. That domain is all real numbers. One more time, gang. What are the issues? A radical and a denominator, right? No radical. Because you go, this is four, we have a denominator. Yeah, we do. But denominators are only issues if they equal zero. Can seven equal zero? No. So I don't have to worry about it. The domain is up here. Okay, so now I've thought of a couple questions. Okay, what have you thought of that we need to practice? increasing or decreasing? Yeah. So I'll just have to draw a shape. So there's my just random shape. What's the domain? All real. What's the range? All real. Good. And let's find intervals on which it is increasing. Decreasing would be the same thing. You just be going that way. Right? So increasing. That means we want to graph left to right, and we want to know where we are going up. So we're going up right here. One, two, three, four. That's negative five to negative four. So we're going up between negative five and negative four. These are always open intervals. Where are we going up again? Well, we start going up here, all the way up to there. So we're going up from negative one to two. And I guess that's it, because I'm not going up anymore. Right? Be careful. Is this little interval or this little thing right here, is that increasing or decreasing? No. So that, even if this were a decreasing question, that would not be included in the answer. Those values are staying the same. All right?
Let's do this one. This one's got two different breaks in it. All right. That's okay, but we're fine. We're going to graph that top equation. What's that look like? Y equals x squared. The parabola. So I'm just going to sketch in my trusty parabola. There it is. But I don't want the whole thing, do I? I only want the part of it greater than negative 1. So there's negative one. There's my point right there where it crosses. That'll be an open point. And I will keep the side. Okay. Everybody okay with that? All right. So now what's the middle one? What's this middle equation going to look like? That's your identity. There it is. Now, I know it's crossing the black curve, but I don't care about that. I only care about where it crosses my... Oh, actually, I don't care about that point either, do I? Where is this one broken? This one's broken at negative 2. Did you catch that? So I'm interested in that point right there where it crosses negative 2. Again, it will be open. And which part do I keep? This part down here. So I'm going to erase all this. So now I've got the right half of my parabola and the left half of my line. But what's going on in between these two? It says y equals 4. What shape is y equals 4? It's a horizontal line. So at 4, up here, there's that green line. But I don't want the whole line. I only want the part of it that is between these two dots. Look right there. Isn't that what that says? So we're going to get rid of all this. And we're going to get rid of all that. And that's our answer. Now, they end up looking all funky, and they're overwhelming if you try to do it all at once. But as long as you do it one piece at a time, whatever happens, that's the answer. Are these the The discontinuities are anywhere it's broken. So where is this broken? We're going to have a discontinuity at negative 2, and we're going to have a discontinuity at negative 1. Remember, a discontinuity is just a break in the curve. This is another one that if you were doing um, domain and range for it, the domain is obviously all real numbers. We've covered all our bases up here for x. But again, we've got a little gap in here, don't we, for the y? So that's 0. I have to know what this point is. So if I put negative 2 in, that's the point negative 2 down there. So you have a gap in between negative 2 and 0 for your range. Okay, well I guess it's time to clean up. So that's that. Wait, would you have to write anything inside?